Astronomers have found a bizarre planet unlike anything they have ever seen. It is 1.6 times the size of Jupiter and almost 2,000 times larger than Earth. Earth's atmosphere is not a uniform blanket. Instead, it is made up of many layers with unique characteristics. The troposphere, which is the lowest layer and extends from sea level to the highest mountain peaks, is where most meteorological events take place, since it's the layer that contains the most water vapor. The famed ozone layer, that protects humans from the sun's damaging UV radiation, is found in the layer above it, known as the stratosphere. In a recent study, an international team of scientists directed by the University of Lund reveals for the first time that one of the known planets with the most extreme conditions may also have several layers in its atmosphere, but with quite different properties. WASP-189b, a planet outside of our solar system that has a unique concoction for an atmosphere, is 322 light-years away from Earth. Numerous observations showed, among other things, that the planet has a daylight temperature of 3,200 degrees Celsius and that is 20 times closer to its host star than Earth is to the Sun. The researchers were finally able to get a closer look at this Jupiter-like planet's atmosphere thanks to more recent observations made with the HARP spectrograph. The amount of light emanating from the planet's host star and traveling through the atmosphere of the planet was measured. Similar to how ozone in Earth's atmosphere absorbs some sunlight, the gases in its atmosphere allow part of the starlight to get through while also leaving their own fingerprint. Researchers were able to identify the associated chemicals using HARPs. Iron, chromium, vanadium, magnesium and manganese were among the gases that left their mark on the atmosphere of WASP-189b, according to the researchers. One especially intriguing chemical that the scientists discovered is titanium oxide, a gas. Although titanium oxide is very rare on Earth, it may play a significant role in the atmosphere of WASP-189b, much as ozone does in our environment. Shortwave radiation, including UV light, is absorbed by titanium oxide. Therefore, its observation may point to the presence of a layer in WASP-189b's atmosphere that behaves like Earth's ozone layer when exposed to stellar radiation. On the very hot Jupiter-like planet, the researchers did discover signs of this layer as well as other layers. Research revealed that, in contrast to what was anticipated, the fingerprints of the various gases were somewhat different. These changes might be caused by powerful winds and other mechanisms. It's possible that the fingerprints of various gases were changed in different ways because they predominantly occur in distinct atmospheric levels, which is similar to how water vapor and ozone on Earth would seem to have different fingerprints from a distance. These findings could alter how astronomers look at exoplanets. In the past, astronomers often made the assumption that the atmospheres of exoplanets are composed of a single layer and attempted to comprehend them as such. However, our findings show that intricate three-dimensional structures may be found in the atmospheres of massive gas planets that have undergone extreme radiation. Astronomers are certain that in order to comprehend these planets, as well as others of their kind, including those that are more like Earth, we must recognize the three-dimensionality of their atmospheres. This involves advances in computer modeling, basic atmospheric theory, and data analysis methods. On Earth, environments are perfect for life. Most locations on Earth have liquid water and are neither excessively hot nor freezing. However, the proper atmospheric composition finally depends on these and other necessities for existence. Earth might freeze into a ball or transform into a pressure cooker if certain gases like carbon dioxide are present in either too little or too great an amount. Therefore, an important factor while searching for planets that could be habitable is their atmosphere. Sometimes, as is the case for Jupiter and Saturn, that atmosphere is primordial and mostly made up of the gases present at the moment the planet formed. However, such basic atmospheres are lost on terrestrial worlds like Mars, Venus or Earth. Instead, surface geochemistry has a significant impact on the residual atmospheres of these planets. 
Rock weathering is one process that modifies the atmosphere's makeup and affects the planet's habitability. How precisely this works, particularly in circumstances that are extremely unlike from Earth's, is unknown. Astronomers are interested in learning how the chemical interactions between a planet's surface and atmosphere alter the atmosphere's makeup. This process, the weathering of silicate rocks with the assistance of water, helps to sustain a moderate temperature on Earth for a very long time. The greenhouse effect of CO2 causes temperatures to rise as its concentration rises. More intense rainfall is a result of higher temperatures. Silicate weathering rates accelerate, which lowers the CO2 level and brings down and brings down the temperature. On other worlds, it may not necessarily operate in the same manner. The team experimented with how various circumstances impact the weathering process using computer models. For instance, they discovered that weathering might be more severe than on Earth, even in very dry environments, provided the chemical processes take place swiftly enough. Rock types may also have an impact on the procedure and result in significantly variable rates of weathering. Contrary to conventional belief, the scientists also discovered that silicate weathering rates may actually decrease at temperatures near 70 degrees Celsius. This demonstrates how weathering may take on very distinct functions for planets with very different environmental circumstances than Earth. The habitable zone is where livable worlds are most likely to be discovered, if they are ever discovered by astronomers. This region is where a star's radiation dosage would let liquid water exist. This region is approximately located between Mars and Venus in the solar system. The habitability of planets in the habitable zone is significantly influenced by geochemistry. According to the team's findings, warming the planet might lessen weathering and its balancing impact on neighboring planets. A planet that could otherwise be livable might end up becoming a terrible greenhouse. Understanding geochemical processes under various settings is crucial for both estimating the potential for life and its detection. We won't be able to determine if biosignatures, possible clues of life like the phosphine that was discovered on Venus last year, actually emerge from biological activity until we have some understanding of the outcomes of geochemical processes under various situations. Is there another planet where humans might exist in the universe? Has long been the core question of humankind's space exploration. And in their typical quest for the solution, Astrophysicists and astronomers have sought for a planet with water. In the past, we have searched for water worlds, planets where water makes up between 50 and 25% of the planet's weight. The best course of action would be to seek for water. Because of the weathering of rocks at the surface and the release of carbon dioxide during the movement of huge tectonic plates under the Earth's crust, the Earth's atmosphere is stable and livable. The interaction between water at the surface of the globe and moving plates is what keeps the sea level on Earth relatively constant throughout geologic time. The energy that propels plate tectonic processes, which in turn maintains the stability of the quantity of water cycling between the Earth's surface and atmosphere throughout eons, comes from the core of the planet. A crucial component of the process is the weathering and erosion of silicate rock which helps control the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There may be a technique to assess the planet's composition to determine whether it might sustain life, even though astrophysicists have historically looked for a globe with water in the hopes of discovering a planet that can. To develop predictions about a planet's interior and structure, the hypothesis presented on Wednesday takes into account a planet's mass, radius and star's chemical makeup. The hypothesis may also help scientists focus their search for indications of life in a cosmos with an endless number of planets. That may make the hunt for alien life faster and cheaper. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.